Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I will be showing y'all how to make these four DIY lawn games. I figured these would be perfect to use at home for the family or if you have any type of parties or get togethers. These are really fun entertainment. They're really inexpensive and easy to make. And I will be showing y'all some ideas in this video so you can use the games at night as well. So the first thing we're going to make is the giant Jenga. You will need six studs total and I am doing my blocks 10 inches each. So I am measuring that out now. And then once I realized that three studs was exactly half the amount of blocks I needed for Jenga, which is is 54 total. I ended up running back to Lowe's to grab three more studs and I'm going to repeat the process and then I'm going to go ahead and cut all of the blocks out and then I'm just going to really quickly sand all of the blocks just to be sure there's no splinters or pieces poking out. I also saw some fun ideas online to write on the Jenga blocks so whoever pulls the block would have to do whatever it says. You can do truth or dares or you can make it a drinking game if you are having an adult party. You can also stain or paint your blocks if you wanted to but I did just keep them as is because I feel like they looked more like Jenga blocks, leaving them that wooden color. Next up, we'll be making corn holes. So what you will need for this are two pieces of wood. And then I'm using some extra scrap studs. I'm going to measure out four 12 inch studs and then four three inch studs. And these are going to be used to prop up the cornhole boards. So the boards that I purchased from Lowe's ended up being the exact size you need for cornhole. So it was perfect. I didn't have to cut it or anything like that. So I'm just going to measure where the hole needs to go it should be 12 inches in and 9 inches down and you want it to be a 6 inch diameter hole once you have all of that mapped out you can go ahead and cut it and then I went ahead and sanded the inside of the hole to be sure it was nice and smooth next up I'm going to paint the board don't mind that it's already white I did try to spray paint it and as you can see it was a terrible idea so I went ahead and used some spare paint that I already had at home I have mentioned in some of my videos that you can get sample paint from Lowe's and it is only $3. So if you don't have any paint at home, that would be a perfect option. Once your paint has dried, we're going to screw in the legs for the bottom. So you're going to put your two three inch studs on the front part and then your two 12 inch studs on the back part. I'm just going to use some wood screws and drill that all together. If you do miss any of the supplies that I mentioned in this video, it will all be linked down below. So definitely check down there if you wanted to recreate any of these. I got some glow sticks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put those around the hole. That way it will be lit up at night and you can see where you're aiming. I'm also going to take some fabric glue and some felt and I'm going to glue a little pouch together. You can fill that up with corn, rice, beans, whatever you may have at home. And once once that dries, these will be our little sacks that we use to throw into the cornhole. And sorry in advance if I'm not using the correct terminology, I've actually never played any of these long games. That's why I wanted to make them so we can learn how to play them. So for the next DIY, we're going to make a bottle toss. I'm just using some spare wine bottles that I had at home. You can also buy very similar bottles from the Dollar Tree if you didn't have any. And you just want to spray paint these whatever color you would like. And then I'm using this little bin, which I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm putting a little spare piece of wood inside just so that the back row of bottles will be propped up a little bit. Now I'm just adding all of my bottles in there and for this I'm also using glow sticks. Since they do make bracelets I figured this would be perfect to throw onto the bottles. And lastly we will be making lawn shoots. So for this you will need two PVC pipes and these are the measurements I will be cutting them so I am marking all of my measurements now. And then I'm really quickly going to cut all those with this PVC pipe cutter. So I'm going to use a piece of cardboard for the bottom of this you can also use a piece of wood or a wooden crate and this is how I will be gluing them down so I'm just using some hot glue putting that on the bottom of the pipes and I'm also putting some glue on the sides so that they will all be glued together and really secure and then once you have them all glued down I decided to add some stickers to them you can use these as points also I'm going to take some of this glow-in-the-dark paint and just put that all over the entire surface because I wanted it to really glow and light up at night but as you can see once the paint dries it actually didn't glow in the dark so definitely skip this step if you want it to glow you can put some Christmas lights around it you can also use some battery operated candles you can put a bunch of glow sticks in them so this is how all the four games came out this is how they look during the day and then at night so that is all for my four lawn game DIYs I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.